whole quarter crack issue? And for people who don't understand that, what is it? And quarter crack. It he, he cracked a quarter crack when he broke his maiden at Santa Anita in the seven eighths race, which is at least two months ago. Uh, and that's like breaking your fingernail, except it's like breaking your fingernail up near the cuticle. Is that what it's called up there? On a horse, it's a cornet band. Uh, so it takes a few months to grow down, several. It's not gonna, you know, just forget about it and it heals overnight. Um, but we patched that and he, since that, he's won the Rebel and the Arkansas Derby, uh, but it's a, but it's now a little over two months old, that patch. So I brought my blacksmith, Ben Kraft here from California, who has done his quarter crack patch out there originally. And it was due to reset it uh, today and put new shoes on and we're ready to go. Doesn't worry at all. Hmm? He's won two races on it. So I, for most, some people would be, they'd be concerned that there'd be an issue well, at this point, it's an old issue, <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. but it doesn't mean I won't worry. We got plenty to worry about. But, uh, but that particular thing's an old issue. But as you understand, if you cracked your fingernail up near the cuticle, it's going to be a long time before it gets grown down and cut out. So uh, you have to stay with it and not let it become a problem again. They fresh do it. It yeah. is painful until you get the until you get the the patch on but the patch pulls it together and like having a little cast on it so it, it uh, as long as the patch works it's no problem horses win races with quarter crack patches every day and they're not the derby favorite so you know nobody really pays any attention to it i suppose i don't think it's something to pay attention to here <laughs> <laughs> talk about his you know he did start off on turf and you've kind of taking some blame for him not winning soon, or if you could talk about that, but you also weren't necessarily the first person who thought he was a turf horse, right? Then you mentioned Larry Jones. Didn't Larry Jones also think he was uh, a turf I horse? just, I, I don't want to share the guilt with anybody else. Um, I just thought that it might be a good way to start him. He's by war front, so why wouldn't he like the grass? And I thought it might be a good way to start him and get him started. And as it turned out, it didn't work out too bad just humbled me a little bit. I think you went 10 years from your first to your second derby starter, and now it's been 15 years. What the does The first mean? sentence was shorter, but the second <laughs> offense got, got a much longer term. But I actually got off for one year for good behavior. What, what does it mean to be back, though, for you? Well, this is what everybody dreams of in racing, uh, from an owner to a trainer to a fan to grooms, hot walkers. This is what we all dream about. Being a horseman, you do the best by each horse as they come along. So you can't make uh, something happen that, that's not there. Right. So you just have to wait for it to happen. I've been waiting. You talked a lot about his disposition earlier. I wonder if you could talk about his stride and way of going and way of being a racehorse out on the track. That was beautiful stride. Watching him gallop, his works, his races. He's just flawless. Think about your um, two-year-old champions then. Who were the ones that you thought maybe would make it here in the way you wanted them to make it here? Action, well, Afternoon Delights? Action this, action this Day was a true mile and a quarter horse and was that good. He never got the credit for it, but he, he had some kind of a back problem uh, that started before the Derby didn't seem to be much, but got a little worse after the Derby, and, and it haunted him, they say, even at stud. So, but it was never a big deal. It just kind of always haunted him, and I took, it took the best out of his racing. Yeah, he looked good in the Breeders' Cup. And the two-year-old Breeders' Cup, he's fabulous. Yeah, he